and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you through the use of oracle cards. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle, and I empower women to break free of the fear that stops them from shining their light. I am so excited to join you this week and deliver a message filled with self-love. That's the common theme around the Carmichael household in the Elevated Life Club upcoming February. We'll be talking all about self-love, so we've just finished recording some fun yoga and meditation practices for self-love, for opening up the heart, being able to receive. So I have a feeling receiving is gonna be a theme for this upcoming month. So I'm really jump, uh, jazzed to join you today to really dive in and see where are we going with Venus going direct, Mercury's gonna be going direct soon. A lot of the um, retrogrades and, and time for slowing down is, is actually starting to speed up and we're kind of unpausing ourselves. So I'm curious to take a moment to tune in, say hello if you're here and check in. How are you guys feeling? Can you feel the energy and the momentum building? This is such an exciting time to really finally take all those ideas that have been swirling about, releasing all the fear that's been holding us back, uh, um, letting go of old beliefs that don't align with who we are anymore and really embracing a completely new chapter. So take a moment to check in, see, am I going through that in my life right now? Am I experiencing massive changes and shifts? Am I feeling called or drawn to something new and leaving behind something that was comfortable and familiar in the past? Heck yes, Yara says, hey, sweet love. So good to see you. And Vic's here. Say hello if you're tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from. And if this is your first time, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to dive in. And if you know a soul sister who would love this message, go ahead and tag them or share it and we can get this party started. So, oh, you're so sparkly, I know. I feel like these um, filters were really just a way to represent what I look like on the inside. <laughs> just have a hard time communicating uh, or for you guys to see all the sparkle that goes on. So, speaking of sparkle and shine, I'm gonna be using the Shine from the Inside Oracle, as you guys know. What's interesting is we're coming up on the two year anniversary. So, two years ago, 2020, which seemed to be perfect timing, I didn't know at the time that having to wait two years to launch it really ended up being in divine timing because we launched on Valentine's Day of 2020. What a perfect day. And hello, we're talking about self-love. What a perfect day to launch a tool to help you stay connected to yourself, to help you stay committed and consistent to your self-care rituals, to help you break free of the fear and actually have awareness and discover what is holding me back? What is going on? Am I feeling too stressed or too anxious? Is my thoughts not in alignment? You know, this is is a great tool for assessment and little did I know that we would launch on Valentine's Day and two years later we've sold thousands and thousands of copies all over the globe and I just am so grateful and so blessed so thank you if you've been a part of this journey and creating this Oracle getting it out into the world sharing it if you're a wholesaler if you own a salon and you're selling it in your retail shop thank you thank you thank you you guys are amazing so Creating this deck really was, the, when Chris asked me, you know, you have Shine School and this amazing program to walk people through self-discovery and self-love, but what are they missing? And I said, well, they're missing consistency. They have the tools right at their fingertips, but they're just not showing up every day for themselves. And this was the tool, this was the next step for that creation of how can I get people more consistent with practicing self-love and self-care. And so I had to take a look at my life and I realized pulling cards and reading cards was my number one consistent practice that I never skipped. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. So that is how this was born. Um, shout out to my neighbor, Caitlin. Oh, how fun. I love that you guys are all here. And Stacy, I oh, hope you can get your pa Gerald's passport in time for the couples retreat. We would love, 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 love to have you. All right, well, I'm gonna shuffle with the intention that we all receive the message we need most and pay attention to your intuitive nudges, your feelings, and what comes up in your inner eye to see how this relates to you. All right, what is our divine weekly message for <sighs> receiving love? Man, that's the theme. That's the theme right now. What do we need to know to receive love? Okay, I don't wanna look. I hate when they flip up, so I'm just gonna like secretly not peek. Okay, I haven't seen it. I don't like to know, I like to be surprised just as you guys. And I'm gonna have to keep myself on, t on track. I've got a true reading after this, a private one-on-one. -on -one. All right, two more cards for the week. What do we need to know to help us better receive love? There they are, two more. And 
they're face down so I don't have to cheat and see and I always love to be surprised. Okay, are you guys ready for this message? I am so pumped. Go ahead, throw some hearts, some likes, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel. I cannot thank you enough for your support. Okay, you guys are ready for this? Let's dive in. Oh, hold on, let me just catch up with your comments really quick. I don't know what this message is saying. Um, okay, it is my favorite day of the week. Hello, hello everyone. I'm just catching your comments. Hi, Sophia. Okay, let's do this. First card for the week. Journal it out and write how you feel. Well, well, well. If, is, if it isn't the old heart. So something that Chris and I were teaching in the yoga and meditation inside the Elevated Life Club for February's masterclass on self-love was about how our heart rules our actions. We, not, we, think, we think we think with our mind to take the actions, but it has to go through the heart before you actually have the energy to move forward, right? We think of the thought, then we use our heart to tune in, and then we use that energy, right? So this is saying it's time to get out of your head so that you can feel what really is alignment, what really is motivating you, what really is lighting you up. Because sometimes it's a lot easier to get clarity on what we don't want or how we don't wanna feel than it is to even know what we do want. So this is saying journaling is a wonderful tool to help get out of your head and into your heart and start just brain dumping. This is one of the first things I do when you um, hire me as your coach is we, I say, get your journal out and let's start brain dumping. Like every thought, every idea, every stress, every ugh, feeling, everything that's taken up space in your brain, get it onto paper that way you don't lose the idea or lose the inspiration you can let your brain know like I got you thank you for reminding me but it's on paper you can move on to the next thing and when you create that space in your mind it actually allows room for your feelings to emerge so that you're not suppressing them anymore journaling this is a funny story about shine school so shine school you guys know is my six week self-love program to help you reclaim your power and fall back in love with yourself and as I was creating the content in creating the program, I would ask my hair uh, salon clients as they were sitting in the chair, like, hey, do you journal? Do you meditate? Do you practice yoga? Like, what do you do for self-care? I would ask all the questions and I remember asking a friend, like, hey, what do you think about journaling? Oh, oh. I would never do that. No, don't put that in there. So I put it in module one and I made it its own lesson to teach you how to get started with the art of journaling. And my first tip before I move on is to just open up the journal and scribble on your first page. Get it all out because we're perfectionists and we don't want to make a mark on that perfect brand new journal and we don't know what to write and how do we make it pretty and do we put a structure and how do we start? Just fucking start. Just start scribbling. Draw it out and rip the page out. I know that freaks people out. Rip it out, let it go, ugh, and then start fresh. And I just begin by writing, I am grateful for, and I just start with a gratitude practice. Then I pull a card and I write down, journal it out, right? How you feel? Well, I'll ask, how do I feel? Oh, I feel excited. I feel free. I feel a little heavy. I feel annoyed. I feel bleh. like start to write things out. It doesn't have to make sense. It's not for you. You're not turning this into publication. You know, like this is for you to just make a connection with your heart and soul. So how many of you actually practice journaling? Like uh, let me like I do like let me let me get some I do's in the comment if you practice journaling or maybe give me a number one for yes I practice journaling and a number two for no ma'am I do not practice journaling let me know where you guys are at um, yes it is 111 here oh dude I have been seeing 111 and which is my biological dad's birthday and 1111 like out the wazoo lately have you guys been noticing the angel numbers coming through I feel like they're trying to make sure and like hey we're here you're not alone trust us um, me, I do, Stacy does, I love it, I love it. You guys are amazing, let me catch up. Oh, hold on, I met, I keep messing up these comments over here. T Sandra, Sandra says she doesn't journal. Okay, sis, I know you have 18 on your shelf that haven't been used, like we all do. Go grab one down and write down how you feel after this call. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, you are pure magic. This is a powerful card right now, especially because we're talking about uh, receiving love. So if we're talking about receiving love and how you feel, maybe you, maybe the first journal prompt you use is how do I, do I allow love in? Do I feel like I'm lovable? Do I have a hard time receiving love? Do I have a hard time giving love? Maybe you start asking questions around that topic. Now moving on to the you are pure magic. This is such a powerful card and a reminder that you are perfect, right? When it, there's this fun saying in the spiritual world when they talk about like if you've manifested this 
your one of your wild and crazy dreams the thing to not be excited about is the actual manifestation what you're meant to realize is that you are the magic creator behind it all so we get caught up in like oh my god i manifested this i did that thing and we think it's like some big grand like i freaking did it but what we're really trying to teach ourselves is that of course you fucking did it you're a magic maker you're a creator you are powerful your thoughts do become things the way you feel about things start to attract more of that into your life and so getting excited and celebrating the manifestation sure have gratitude because that's you know appreciation means to make more but what you need to focus on and what you need to realize is that manifestation isn't like a, oh my god I, I i got this special code and i did it it's your fucking birthright Oh, I'm fired up y'all when I start cussing I am fucking pumped. Okay. It is your birthright manifestation is your normal if and and if you think you're not manifesting in your life right now, you probably are doing it unconsciously and attracting things that you think you deserve because it's based on an old crappy story that you tell yourself an old belief that you're not good enough or only it, it can only be hard if I make money or it, or if I'm successful. You may be unconsciously operating off an old belief. And when I see you are pure magic, it's a reminder to come back home to yourself, to stop plugging into the stories that you tell yourself, unless they're empowering, unless they're saying you're magical, you're amazing. If you've reprogrammed your mind to become your number one cheerleader, keep doing that. Okay. That's what my mission is in shine school is to reprogram everyone's mind so that they become their own bestie. That's a whole freaking module in there. So this, you are pure magic is a reminder to come home to yourself and to remember that you are way more powerful than you give yourself credit. And if you're manifesting things in your life that you don't like, if you look around at your external, this is how you'll know you look around in your external life. And if you're not in love with every aspect, you have to turn inward and journal it out and ask, why am I attracting this? What belief do I have that supports this being in my life? This is a really powerful time for you to get clear on what you do want because your thoughts are attracting those things and it's happening more and more rapidly at an easier pace. So we want to make sure that we're focusing in the right place. Um, I would love to get into a journaling routine. I think that would be incredible. Bust out the journal, start writing every day. That's the first thing I do when I start my day. Um, any thoughts, ideas, questions when it comes to you are magical. I'm just catching up. I do journal challenge messages, oh, channeled messages, download, um, downloads, but haven't, have been avoiding journaling about my fears and values and goals. Listen, don't avoid it. Dive right into it because clarity, truth, you are free by knowing the truth. So if you have darkness, this message has been coming up a lot too. So I find it to be interesting with self love being the theme here is embracing our shadows. That's such a huge part of shine school is embracing the darkness. Like, man, you have goddess Kali in you where you will cut off all the bullshit and set those boundaries on things that don't work for you and deplete your energy. That's a powerful part of yourself. I think this is also, you know, you are pure magic. It's not just love and light and rainbows. Like you get the vibe from the card, but it's also your darkness. It's also those parts that you fear that you're afraid of that you don't think you're good enough when you can have the courage to look that's what we talk, that's a whole that's the whole freaking tagline to this experience is i empower women to break free of the fear that we're avoiding that stops you from shining your light so are you just gonna not shine your light because you're too afraid to look at your fear and i'm not giving you a hard time i'm just saying why waste your time why waste your time in the thing you know isn't, isn't even real and it doesn't feel good why would we spend time in fear if it doesn't feel good i mean it's like having bad sex. Like if that's a thing, like, oh, I know it's a thing because you can transfer negative energy. But like if you're having bad sex or watching a bad movie, would you keep doing it? If you said, yes, you're a people pleaser and we need to work on that book a call. <laughs> but if you said, no, I would never just stick with that if it didn't work or if I didn't like it. You're doing that with your own relationship with yourself and the way that you treat yourself. And it's got to stop if it's not positive. Um, okay, y'all, I am fired up today, so just everyone watch out. I'm also PMSing, so there's a little fire. There's a little fire coming through. All right, last card. Ooh, I just knocked it down. And it stayed face down, so I don't know. All right, are you guys loving this? What has stood out to you so far? What's been your aha moment, your takeaway? And uh, Stacy, yeah, I love that you're loving it. What has been your takeaway so far? Journal it out. You are pure magic. You're manifesting all the time. Are you withholding love from yourself? Are you avoiding fear and darkness? When you can look at your darkness in the face and turn around, that's the thing, like, here's the thing, get this visual, this is gonna help you guys so much, okay. Let's imagine like fears behind us and you know how when the sun is shining behind us, it projects our shadow like super big on the ground. So imagine that fear, because if we're not looking at fear in the face, where is it at? 
is behind us, right? So the sun is shining behind us and it's making this fear cast over our life and think it's this big, crazy, like horrible thing. But if you stop and you take a moment to turn around and look at it, all of that fear diminishes because when you focus your awareness on fear, it shrinks. It's like, whoop. I'm busted, they see me, oh no, they're gonna find out I'm fake. And that is why you wanna have the courage to turn around and look at your fear so that you can finally be free of that thing, that elusive thing. Because a lot of the times when I'm coaching people, I ask, so what are you, so I'm a fear, fear stop me. What kind of fear, what are you afraid of? I don't know. So you're just, I don't knowing around all the time? Like, wouldn't you know what your fear is? So we create these imaginary scenarios that rule our life until we have the courage to look at them and go, oh, that silly old thing? I made that up when I was 12. I can't believe I still think that way. Take a moment to look at your fear, embrace it. It'll set you free. I'm here for the fucking fire. Yes, I am on fire right now, it's insane. My, my whole body's like sweating. I'm also a generator in human design, so I make a lot of energy, y'all, and I think that's why you guys like to plug in. Um, that thing, loving this Brit, oh, so glad. All right, last card for the week. Whew, here we go. Oh, I love this, and I'm actually teaching a, a guest class on this particular topic next month for a friend. Allow unlimited abundance. Oh, when you hear the word abundance, Let's play a game. What's the first thing you think of? Drop it in the comments. When you hear the word abundance, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Is it money? Is it abundance of time? Is it abundance of joy, of support? What's the first word that you think of when abundance comes into your mind? I'm gonna take a moment, let you guys sit with that, see what comes up. And just as we talked about the theme of this upcoming month in the Elevated Life Club is all about self-love and receiving it. And the first word of this card, y'all, allow, allow, allow. You guys are blocking it out. In the meditation, we actually teach you how to uh, break down the wall that's blocking out all the good stuff in your life uh, in the club. So I'm telling you guys, if self-love is at the top of your list this month or this year as a priority, Jump into the Elevated Life Club because this is going to be the masterclass that changes the way that you feel about yourself so that you can allow abundance, you can allow support, you can allow those dreams and ideas to actually take root in your mind so that you have courage to take action to fulfill your calling, your purpose, your mission, your destiny. <sighs> so, uh, Stacy says when she hears the word abundance, she thinks enough to go around. Enough of what? Enough of what? Everything? Um, freedom, time, money. Yeah, think about it. Abundance means so much, uh, so different things to so many different people. So what does abundance mean to you? How is your hand doing? Thank you so much. Um, I'm healing. The scar is looking great. Can't close my fingers all the way. Um, but we're on a journey. So thank you for asking. Um, yeah, and I'll share more about that as I progress. But right now, I'm healing, working on physical therapy, finally got a new car. Okay, I've got a story for you. Thank you for asking. And hello, Lindsay, it's so good to see you. All right, here's how we manifested our car. So the car that Chris and I wanted, you can only order, they're not available anywhere, and it's gonna take up to five months to get it. As you guys know, our car was totaled over a month ago, and we've been in a, a rental car that uh, we started paying for about a week ago. And Chris and I decided we would ha um, have the rental car through Sunday, and then we would make a new decision, because, I mean, it's crazy expensive to have a rental car every day of your life. So we were like, we're gonna come up with a new decision, whether I have to post on Facebook or share it with the world, like, I need an extra car, somebody help. But I just was like, I'm putting it out there. On Friday, Chris decided he's ordering, placing the order for the car and we're just gonna move forward with that particular route. We tried all the different dealerships, nobody has them in stock. And that morning I pulled the Eight of Wands and if you're familiar with Tarot, that's about taking sudden swift action and embracing opportunities that show up quickly. It's quick, it's like fast bursts of energy. And it's about manifestation in the physical world. And so I thought that morning, something big is about to happen. I think we're gonna get a car. Like I, I really feel like this was the big thing we're trying to manifest into form. And we're on our, we had placed the order for the car, said and done, we're on our way to the chiropractor and we get a phone call from a different dealership far away. Not so far, but far enough. Not a place that we were originally looking. And he said, I know you called about this car the other day that was coming in. Someone had custom ordered it months ago. He said, Chris had asked him, what's the chance that I'll get this car? He said, slim to none. 
he called Chris and he said, I don't know how, but this, the people that ordered it are out. They've, they've backed out and if you can get here now, I have the exact car you want and the exact trim with all the accessories and all the things, but you have to get here first. Well, let me tell you, I made a very clear decision that taking care of myself and my hand right now is number one priority and we were on our way to the chiropractor. Chris said, and of course, like, is it out of fear? Like, do we need to go now? We don't wanna miss this opportunity. And I had to check in and go, yeah, I even said, it would make a lot of sense to turn around and go now, but this year, not that this year is the only year, but this year, this time right now is all about prioritizing my healing and my self care and what I need. And I need my wrists adjusted, all the things. And so we went, to the, we went to the chiropractor first. When we got there, there was another couple looking at the car and we had already sent in all the information, whatever, whatever. But right before we got there, we exited and we stopped at the stoplight right before we turned in. And you guys know, what's my spirit sign? What's my spirit sign? It's a pink car. So we pull up to the light and there's a pink bug sitting right next to us. And I thought, okay, we're on the right track. I'm like, we are getting a car. We sit down with the sales rep and there's a unicorn sitting on his desk. I'm like, we are definitely in the right place. And the other couple that was looking at the car, here's a fun secret. If you want people to leave, if they're talking to you, this is great for uh, hairstylists who own their own suite. If you've got a client talking to you too much and they're just like, won't, and your next client's there and you're like, I just really need you to be quiet. I know you love me, but go. I imagine them as floating up like a big Macy's Day uh, parade balloon and then just like floating out of the way. So you know I was giving them the like balloon stare and I'm like imagining them like leaving the dealership and I heard her say, but you're not gonna run my credit, are you? That was it. That was all I needed to solidify this is my car. This is my car. And of course it took hours to work it out and negotiate and all the things, but I ended up leaving with the car that night and it's just so incredible how the signs are always there and if you're willing to take action and if you're willing to take care of yourself first, you'll be surprised at how much more you can attract into your life because you're coming from a fulfilled place. It's really a beautiful thing. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I know, a freaking pink car. I know, isn't that insane? A pink, and we're in the middle of podunk town nowhere, okay? Nobody drives a pink car out there, like WTF. So it was crazy. And I knew for a fact, like we were on the right track and this was meant for us. So now we have a new car, hand is healing, all the things. So wanted to share that fun story with you guys. I've been wanting to, um, bring it up but it's kind of a long story to like just type out or whatever so i thought i'd save it for woo woo so thank you for um asking about the hand it triggered all the thoughts and i wanted to share that cool manifesting story with you so the moral of that story is take action on what you want even if they tell you it's going to take forever you never know what having the courage to move forward with that energy and put things into action ends up creating more energy and things behind the scenes that draw and attract it to you. And Lord knows the universe knew I needed a car like that weekend. And so I'm really grateful that I didn't have to lean on anyone else's borrowing their car. And I was given the gift of exactly what I wanted, but I had to pay attention to the signs and those signs led me exactly in the right place. Um, LOL at name just joined stoner music nerd. Definitely visiting your Instagram. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yay to a new car. Always fun. All right, my friends. How have you enjoyed this week's woo woo? Any thoughts, ideas, or aha moments that have come up, please share them in the comments below. That story is perfect example of ego versus intuition, fear versus love. Yeah, I mean, we could have subscribed to the story of, well, it's only gonna take five months. And like, people will easily take what they deem as an authority figure's opinion over their own belief or manifestation, wish, and desire. If I would have, oh, hold on, some bros calling me. No, get out of here. Okay, so if I would have taken his story of, well, it's gonna take at least five months to get here, if I would have put that and planted that seed in my mind, you know what I would have gotten? A car in five months. But I never allowed that. I never allowed that story to take root. I thought, that is cool, but I don't, that's not for me. For me is, I want this car now. <laughs> so it was a beautiful blend of having 100% faith and moving forward with what I want despite what they're saying, what everyone else is saying. Uh, manifesting Gerald's passport. Hell yes, Stacy. I'll put the sparkle magic out into the universe so that you guys can join us from 
Wales, I'm so excited to have an international couple join us at the Evolved Couples Retreat going down in Destin on 2-22-22. We literally have one spot left and the deadline to apply is actually on the 31st of this month. So if you've been thinking about it, this is it. I won't be talking about it anymore after the 31st because we're one, we're headed out there and getting it going and making magic. And two, we'll be talking about my next goddess retreat coming up in April. So we'll be moving, changing gears. So this is your last call. Um, all right. Any other thoughts, ideas, questions? Um, how are you? I am doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, okay. Anything else? Any other thoughts? Well, if you love this message, please tag someone, share the video, subscribe, like, whatever you got to do to spread the good vibes. And I thank you for being here. If you don't have a copy of your shine from the inside Oracle, Hey, it's time to jump on it. Take care of yourself. Gift yourself this tool of self love and purchase your shine from the inside oracle. Um, I just lost all sound on this video, but can still feel your energy. Oh, I hope I'm not just, I hope, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you so very much. And I will be with you guys next week. Peace.